Hi, I'm Lucy from So Essential and I'm here today to share another exciting new indie pattern brand that we've added to the website recently. You'll find links to the website and all the products I mentioned in the description below. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe because every Friday I bring you a video packed full of sewing goodness. So the exciting new indie pattern brand we've added recently, drum roll please, is Tasuti Patterns. So this was co-created by the lady who owns Tasuti Fabrics in Australia and her mother who has 50 years industry experience and I think you can really see that level of expertise and that passion for all things sewing and fashion within these uh, designs of these patterns. They're super contemporary but they're classic and chic at the same time. Lots of very sort of clean simple lines but with lovely little design details and twists that look like a whole lot of fun to sew and absolutely lovely lovely to wear and I can't wait to share them with you. I'll just show you one of the physical patterns. So we've got 43 designs on the website as it stands. We will add to that as new ones come out um, and they cover all different types of garments, tops, trousers, jackets, dresses, skirts, shorts. They're all on there. Lots of lots of really nice jacket and coat patterns. So do jump on and check those out. But I've just picked out some of my favourites for this video to share with you. But don't forget there's lots of other designs and I'll pop the links in the description below to everything for you. Um, but the first one I'm going to show you in more detail in a minute, but I just wanted to show you the physical pattern is the lowest dress. So you can see they come with this beautiful glossy colour instruction booklet, which if I open it up, has got beautiful colour photos to make everything really easy to understand, accompanied by detailed text. And then you also get your pattern printed on high quality paper, your multi-size pattern there. And then on the back of the pattern packet, you get all the usual information you would expect, your yardage, yardage requirements and your sizing charts. So let's get started with the lowest dress, which just absolutely ticks all the boxes for me. It runs in a size six to 16. The size 16 is a 42 bust, 37 waist, 46 hip. It's a vintage inspired dress, but again, vintage inspired, but with a very contemporary aesthetic, I think. So it's got a V-neck bodice, lovely floaty, um, gentle A-line midi length skirt, a cuffed armband, which I always think is a nice detail to sew, and it's a nice, neat finish, um, again, very contemporary and modern. Um, there's top stitching around the neckline and the waist, and there's an invisible zip, which is placed within a dart. So I'm really interested to see that sewing detail. Do tell me in the comments if you've sewn um, that particular, particular sewing technique before. I've not done it myself, so I'd be really intrigued and interested to see um, what that's like. And hopefully I'll get around to sewing this very soon. I'm a bit short on time for sewing at the moment, but if you make one, if you get one from us and make one, do share it with me and let me know. Um, um, so the fabrics you want for this one are of nice floaty drapey fabrics, rayons, viscose, crepe de chine, that sort of thing. Um, and the fabric I chose is one of our new dead stock fabrics which have been super super popular. This is a viscose twill and I just thought a classic navy polka dot would be lovely for that dress. It would just be so timeless. Um, it's a nice weight. It's a slightly heavier weight than a viscose chalet because it's a twill, but it's still got like, that lovely drape and movement. I think it would move beautifully when you were wearing it. And I thought you could pair it with pumps um, and a jacket in the spring, and then you could pair it with sandals in the summer. Um, and then you can dress it up for the evening with heels, you know, it would give you a lot of mileage. I think it's something that you would get a lot of wear out of. And I think a lot of the patterns in this range are like that. A lot of them are real sort of what I would call wardrobe workhorses, the things you would reach for again and again in your handmade wardrobe. The next pattern I want to share with you is the Lennox sweatshirt. I thought this was a great one for this time of year when we're transitioning between seasons. Although in all honesty, I tend to wear a sweatshirt all year round in the UK. Even in the summer, if we do a British 
um, seaside holiday sometimes um, I'll wear a sweatshirt with my shorts on the beach if it's a cooler day um, they're just it's just such a useful thing to have in your wardrobe and I do wear them quite often so why not add another one to the collection it runs in a 6 to a 22 and the size 22 is a 48 bust 43 waist and a 53 and a half hip it's a lovely loose boxy contemporary style with a drop shoulder a self fabric neck and then hem bands and then you can go for some twin needling or cover stitch stitching on your neckline one of the views suggests that little V of twin needling stitching that you often get on sweatshirts at the front and then the other view gives you the option for asymmetric color blocking which I thought was really fun um, and then you with your sleeves you can taper them into a band um, or you can make them gathered with elasticated and gathered um, cuffs instead and the fabric I chose for the Lennox sweatshirt I just shamelessly shamelessly copied the styling on the pattern packet because I thought it was so contemporary and such a lovely colour combination so this is our farn fabric which is actually a stretch crepe I think but it's got as much stretch in it as a sweatshirting fabric um, which you suggested on the pattern packet so I think this would be fine it's a nice weight as well for this time of year and just the pink black grey combo I think is a really nice combination but um, we do have sweatshirting fabric as well um, and we do also have like an ivory and, and maybe a navy in this particular fabric but I'm just going to show you the pink there so you can see sort of the drape and the movement and the weight of it but I think that would hang really nicely sewn up as the Lennox sweatshirts so that was my choice for that one the next pattern I want to share is definitely one that's going to be you know leaning into the when the weather starts to get a bit warmer and I think there is a bit of a theme of that with some of the patterns I've chosen but if you're still very firmly in the sewing for winter and what the weather is now camp do jump on and check out the other designs in the range because they're not all summery I've just lent towards some of these I think I'm doing a bit of wishful thinking but also just getting bowled over by the beautiful designs so the leany top um, runs in sizes extra extra small to extra large the extra large is a 42 bust 37 waist and a 45.6 hip it's a boxy cropped design with a narrow v-neck an extended sleeve and then a wide hem which is finished with a facing and they suggest that this top goes really well with high-waisted trousers shorts skirts so I thought you could pair it with high-waisted trousers and you know layer it up with a jacket or a cardigan in spring but then come summer you'd be able to ditch the layers um, and just wear the top with your favorite shorts or skirt and this one requires some fabric fabric with a bit of structure so they've suggested a medium weight linen crisp cotton silk dupions jacquards pk cottons those sorts of things so something with a little bit of structure to really show off that boxy shape and the fabric I chose was this linen cotton mix fabric which comes in a wide range of colours I've chosen this beautiful sort of wisteria cornflower blue colour which I just think is so so pretty absolutely gorgeous and I think if you made that and wore it with I've got a jumper in this colour actually which I've worn and lots of you have complimented me on in the videos um, and I wear it with black jeans and I think yeah if you paired it with black um, high-waisted black trousers or shorts or a skirt I think it would look really pretty with that um, but the linen cotton mix fabric does come in a range of colours so if that's not your bag jump on and check the other colours out um, I've popped links to everything below for you the next pattern I wanted to share was the Esther shorts so these run in a 6 to a 16 the 16 is a 37 waist and a 45 hip these are a classic high-waisted short vintage inspired with a side side seam that sits forward from the hip and then a side invisible zip and a narrow waistband and apparently heralded as a very simple sew which I think shorts often are as long as the fits okay you might want to if you haven't made shorts before um, you might want to just make a, a quick twirl just to check the fit um, but yeah heralded is a nice simple sew these ones and these are for linens cottons wools or silks um, and the fabric I chose for these was this lovely cotton sateen fabric now last year I made a pair of shorts in a sort of khaki and black linen viscose fabric um, which was a leopard print a bigger design than this but I just love this really cute 
leopard print design in the purple colorway. And I just thought if you made the shorts up in this and then you could pair it with the black top, um, I think that would look absolutely great. And black, chunky, strappy sandals, I think that would look lovely. Um, you could even make the leany top in um, our black linen cotton plain fabric and pair that with the Esther shorts in this cotton sateen fabric. And it would just look so chic and stylish. So that was my next choice. And then the next two, you really have got to get your summer hat on, summer head on rather, <laughs> summer hat, summer head on for these two. As I said, lots of more seasonally appropriate designs on the website, so do jump on and check those out. But I just had to share these ones to you. They just jumped out at me straight away. Um, so this is the Claudia dress, runs in sizes XXS to XL. XL is a 42 bust, 37 waist, 45.6 hip. It's a pull-on sundress with a narrow shoulder strap. I'll try and pop a little link to a tutorial in the description for you of how to turn through narrow straps easily on an overlocker if you've got one. Just a nice little trick that it's always nice to throw in. It's got bust starts for a bit of shape there, um, stitch down side pockets, and it's got above the knee side splits, a wide hem and top stitching. So, um, And it sort of says you need, again, quite a sort of structured fabric for this to show off the design. I really love those slits at the side as well I just think they look so contemporary if you're wearing um, white pumps with a dress like this and you've got those side slits it just adds that little interesting bit of detail um, so it recommends things like medium to heavyweight linens, linen blends and cotton. So the fabric I chose for this one, which I thought would work really well, is this beautiful seven berry fabric, um, which is, I can't remember what the composition of this is now, but they're Japanese inspired. Um, and I think they're cotton, but they've got like the appearance of a linen. Um, and they're on these lovely sort of indigo um, bases and this one's got that little tiny cross design on it um, but then we've also got some floral ones and geometric ones but it's a nice sort of quite a structured fabric it's not the widest fabric so just check the yardage requirements on the pattern packet because um, this isn't I think it's probably like a 45 inch rather than a 60 inch um, but I think this would sew beautifully into the Claudia dress and um, do that beautiful pattern justice and then finally the, the last one I chose again very summery but you know people we've got to sew for the weather we want you know let's uh, be positive and optimistic about uh, how warm it's going to be and um, yeah the Bondi dress was the final one that I chose which runs in sizes 6 to 16 and 18 to 22 so the 18, sorry, the 22 is a 48 bust, 43 waist and a 51 and a half hip. I absolutely love this dress. I've got to make it. I've got to make it because I think in the summer and particularly on holiday, it would just be your best friend. Um, it's got a high neck. It's got lovely cutaway armholes, which I always think are so flattering. Um, it's got bust starts, side pockets, a centre back and centre front seam. And then it's got a back yoke opening um, and there's options for two lengths on it. I love the way on the pattern packet they have um, frayed the hem of the fabric. So I think they've used like a linen um, on the pattern packet on, and then they've frayed the hem. I think that looks really cool. It's just that ultimate cool girl chic of, oh, I just threw this on, but it looks super stylish. Um, just some nice little details and opportunities for the top stitching with the center front seam, the center back seam and the lovely little opening on the back as well. Definitely something I would really enjoy wearing and, and like to have in my wardrobe. And again, you want, um, Let's just check which fabrics they recommend for this. So they suggest medium weight linen or linen blends, cottons, medium weights, silks or silk blends. And again, I chose our linen cotton mix fabrics. I thought this would go really well. Um, with that pattern and I thought this lovely yellow colour, well, it's, it's not like a proper yellow, it's like a sandy colour. Um, I just thought with a bit of a suntan on holiday, I thought that would look absolutely gorgeous. Just such a lovely, sunny, happy colour and um, yeah, that's always a good thing in my book to wear some nice, bright, happy dopamine dressing colours. So that's my little roundup of the Tasuti patterns. I hope you enjoyed that. Do jump on and check out the 
other designs. I've popped links in the description below for you for everything I've shared and where you can find all the other designs. And if you like what you see today, please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.